everyone, it's Kathy here for Del Bello's Designs and today I'm going to be doing a tall crafty to me technique session on making reflections. This particular one I'm doing today was inspired by one of our members, Linda Auburn. She shared a photograph on Facebook of a fantastic reflection scene, a real life photograph. So I just got her permission that I could perhaps recreate it in, in a card. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. It's quite a simple technique and you don't need many items. So for this particular one, we're using the Lavinia LAV052 trees, a piece of acetate. I'm using the Distress Oxide carved pumpkin and a blending tool. And I'm using some Distress Ink prize ribbon. If you don't have the Distress Ink, you can also use the oxide. I just happen to have this colour in the Distress Ink and I wanted this particular colour. And some VersaFine Claire Nocturne, a glue runner pen or any glue of your choice and I also have a stamp pressing tool to help with the reflections. And I'm going to be using a black pencil or a Posca pen depending on how I get on but you can use either of those they're fine and you might want a ruler I'm actually just going to use my stamping block here and just to, to do a straight line across so for this we're going to need a piece of card that measures six inches by four inches some black backing card which I cut to 6.25 inches by 4.25 inches and then it will be mounted onto a, a piece of card measuring five inches by seven inches once folded Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I start by doing a line with my pencil. Just across the center there. Don't worry about that because it's going to be covered in ink anyway. <clears throat> right, and then I'm going to start with the orange. And I start by doing the top half first. And I put more on the top half than I do on the bottom. And I don't want it to be a complete straight edge, so I'm just going around in circles. And then I'm not adding any more on to do the bottom, so it's lighter. So the top half is a little bit darker than the bottom. And then inking up the Distress Ink in Prize Ribbon. I'm starting at the edges and working my way in. And again, I'm just slightly joining over the edges there. I don't want a very straight edge. the background. Now at this point you can use a very fine paintbrush and just slightly go over the pencil and make it a little bit thicker and a bit, a bit bolder. This is just a, just a below all black pencil I used but you can blend it with water a bit like that so I don't get a completely straight edge. Now, because I've just done that, I'm actually going to dry it with a heat tool just for a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to stamp up the trees in the VersaFine Claire. There we go. 
Now, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a slight gap underneath. I'm just going to get my pencil, just join it in so that there's no gap. Okay, now I'm going to move my card to one side and I'm going to ink up again. I'm going to stamp it onto the acetate. I'm just going to put it down and hold it there for a few minutes. I'm not going to move it. You've got to be very careful not to move it slightly because it will smudge. And then once it's been there for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, I'm going to lift it up. Straight up. Sort of like putting off a plaster. Do it quickly. And then we're going to line that up with the trees above and we're going to put it down. And once we put it down, again, be careful not to move it because it will smudge. And this, this is where I use this pressing tool. I find it quite helpful. Just give it a little blend. And then I'm going to take it off. Now what I do at this point I just very, very lightly shade the tree trunks. With a pencil. And there you go and you can leave it like that or what I like to do I like to squirt it with just a little bit of water and I try and do it in the same place for both of them and then dab it with a paper towel so you're getting a reflection in the water too and then afterwards I just lightly go over the, the bigger part you've got a, a reflection there all ready to be glued down onto your card so let's turn my card over I have found with some of these reflections I did one of the cat Mimsy I'll share it on our Facebook group to show you but with the small solid colors sorry I'm trying to pay attention here so with the more solid colors I had to, to color in the reflection a lot more because um, you know that you can see where the solid bits they don't come out quite so dark so when I did the cat I had to um, I had to color the reflection in quite a bit but it, it did come out quite good but you just have to color it in more I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found it useful and if you do this technique please do share it on Facebook because I'd love to see what people are doing um, and on that note if you'd like to join us we have two Facebook groups we have Del Bello's Designs Lounge for all things that are Lavinia and we also have Del Bello's a la carte which is for all other products that Patty sells in her sh shop that aren't Lavinia so I do hope, to, hope that you can join us there Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.